All right, guys, welcome to another video. Hopefully this video can help you in your quest to grind XP in the invasions tower. Uh, we are currently at the seasonal tower at level 199. Uh, I know a lot of people have been like, stop at 56 or stop at 86 or whatever. But honestly, guys, if you do it right, just keep playing, you'll be fine. Uh, there is one instance where it might glitch and that's on Shang Tsung's uh, laboratory with the fog. If you do run into that stage, go all the way to the left and wait for the fog to disappear. Use the war horn and uh, fingers crossed, right? Took me a couple tries, but it finally did it. All right, anyway, so how did I get here? Well, there's a lot of things. Uh, let's go back to how we create the talisman. That you forge at this guy, right? All right. My talisman that has carried me to level 199 is the Warhorn. It is the best. I've tried the Windbreaker, and it ain't it ain't working for me. Because a lot of times when you shoot that thing, it's something goes weird. Anyway, do the Warhorn and max it out. Uh, what I have is 10 extra projectiles, so more spears and more little dudes run at the bottom. Max charges. Um, that's, I mean, it's maxed. It's got, I can only hold like 9, but I put 10 for some reason. 500 damage is, is really good. It's really good. Uh, I think you can go higher than this, but 500 has been plenty. 11 charges per recharge. Uh, basically means like when you win a match, you, you're you're gonna automatically get recharged, all of them. So I went overboard there, and then unblockable projectiles is a good way to go. But that just ensures that the your opponent's not gonna block as as much. So you can change that out with something else like um, activation or maybe health or whatever you want. But unblockable is pretty good. So once you get into legendary, you can't upgrade it anymore. Uh, but let's let's start at the beginning of where you get uh, the talisman. So you want to go to Mesa. You want to go to Rampart, and you want to start from scratch. Um, so not here. We got to go to uh, not there. We're gonna go to this guy right here. All right, this shop. Select, and he's got a bunch of level thirty talismans. Right. So we want to go to Warhorn, this one right here. You want to buy this one. Level 30, common, Warhorn, for 2,500, you buy it. Uh, I think I already have it, so I'll show you later. So that's where you buy it first. And you go to here, but unfortunately you can't teleport to uh, the better shop, but the secret, well not the secret, but the better item you want to use to forge. I'll walk you to it. You want to go all the way to the boss, basically where Natira is waiting for you. Natara, Natira, Natara. All right, let's keep going up. All right, and there's a shop on the left. All right, so you want to stay right here. Enter the shop, and every hour you want to buy... This plasma orb, this adds an additional projectile. So this is going to allow you to throw more spears and have more little dudes run at the bottom. Or you can buy the, the health here. So these two are very important. That's what I, I basically just got this. So every hour, buy this. And you want to buy probably 10 of them. All right, so once you have that, or that once you know where that is, the other shop you want to go to every hour is this one here in Sundo. And it's going to be this shop right here, right? Right? This shop right here. Enter this shop. And the ones you want to buy are, well, one of these, if you want to get that unblockable projectile, that's one. And then every hour you want to buy the Jinsei Essence, all the, all the dragon medallions for damage, and all the charms for the uh, charging faster. And if you want to do the activate talisman faster so more little dudes run quicker, you can do that one too if you want. I didn't do that one. 
So it's very important to buy all of the, the damage because you can stack those, right? So every hour you buy these three after you buy the unblockable if you want to do that route, okay? All right, so once you have those, right? So here and here every hour, those are the shops you want to buy the ingredients. You go to here where Bob is. Enter the forge, and you want to upgrade your talisman. So right here, this is the bare bones basic warhorn from scratch. You want to select that, and what I did is I add one of these, the unblockable. Then you want to add the damage, and then you want to add the charges faster, and then you want to add more projectiles. And the final one is the dragon blood. All right, so these are the ingredients that I used. Now, to get it stronger, of course, you want to add all the damage you can. So see on the far left how that's going up? I'm at 180, so imagine to get to my 500, I needed quite a bit of those. Probably, what, 50 to get to 500? Uh, as far as, uh, let's see, the Edenian charm. So we get that up to what? I had that 10 before, so that's 10 of those. And these are the uh, additional charges. Uh, so we added those, let's see, what is this? Wait, it's not there, is it? Oh, I see. So basically, because that, that talisman that's unblockable, you add it the first time and craft it. And then once you craft it, then you don't have to craft it no more. So then we can right, get rid of that. Then, you add the charges. Now see on the top left, see how I'm adding, adding more, right? More, more, I think that's max, right? So that maxed out all the charges. So seven of those, and then what else? That's pretty much it. So add the damage. Do that. I think that's about it. Now you can experiment if you want with the with the health. You can experiment with the, the time to last longer. You can experiment with uh, the cog wheel to activate them faster. Experiment the block wheel. You do it once though. Um, all right. So now let me show you something here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Add that. I'm gonna remove something. All right. Okay, so extra projectiles. We got the charges. Uh, yep, we got those, we got the damage. Okay. All right, so once you have your ingredients set, notice on the bottom right it says, chances of success is high. Now, if you, if you read the very top right, it says, beware, the more powerful you try to forge your talisman, it's most likely to fail. Now, you see this dragon's blood right here? This is the item that makes your uh, crafting guaranteed, right? So when I add another one of these dragon bloods, add, add, add. See how it's dropping the power a little bit? I'm adding, adding, there. 10 dragon bloods will guarantee uh, that you're going to you're going to upgrade it. Guarantee. Right? If it says high and you try to do it, it might work, but it most likely will fail, and if it fails, you will lose all those ingredients. They're gone. Right? So you really want to guarantee chance of success. Now, the only way to get these dragon bloods is by defeating the the seasonal tower you get a reward of a dragon blood that's one so you get you got to get at least 10 to guarantee your forge sometimes you can buy this in a store one time but it's random right it's random all right so this that's the ingredients of how you forge so you can see what i did 10 projectiles 10 max charges 500 damage 11 charges per recharge and then the unblockable projectiles and then I did that over and over until it became legendary, and then that's it. You can't upgrade it no more. You're done.
All right, so that's that's what I did there. Okay, so now we go. Right, so this this guy right here, he sometimes has that dragon blood for sale. It might show up here. And look at you can buy a you know talisman for damage, sure. And he only has one. You buy him once per hour, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes they show up here. So buy it here. All right. So another thing now. Notice on the bottom, uh, bottom right, or I'm sorry, bottom left. Those are your items there. Okay. Now, as a reward for defeating the seasonal tower, you can get a random consumable, which permanently you know boosts your stats or gives you you know stat points or agility, right? So that's good. And sometimes you get a, a, a consumable like a syringe here. This permanently grants you 15% increased like uh, chaos resistance or lightning resistance. For example, let me show you my profile of the beautiful Lee Mei and awesome Hansel Scorpion. So when you look at your, your stats, <clears throat> notice on the bottom left, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> the bottom left is all of your um, resistances. Notice all my resistances, how powerful they are. <laughs> the only negative I have is magic. For some reason, it's like negative 40. But it's weird. So after you consume those uh, consumables and those syringes, you become stronger. And you resist all those um, those uh, modifiers in the uh, in the towers. So you can resist a lot of those uh, crazy, crazy things that try to kill you, right? Um, but also my stats. Look at my stats. Now... Because you're crafting such a powerful Warhorn, you really don't need to put a lot of stock into uh, attack. You really want to go like health and defense because you're really not doing a lot of the work. The Warhorn is. So you want to make sure that you're going to be strong and, and have good defense and can uh, survive a lot of those nasty attacks and modifiers that hit you. So I would recommend putting more into health and defense, which is awesome. Um, so if you if you if you don't have these stats the way you want, um, remember you can um, remember you can go to uh, the Wushi Academy, go to the shop, and you can reset your stats. Uh, might as well show you now. All right. Um, so you go to the shop here, this guy right here, and if you want to reset all your stats, you just buy this right here, the white and con white Entra Core. And that'll refund all of your stats to to zero. And then once you once you consume that, you go to your stats, and then you can start from scratch and just put put in whatever you want. Okay, so that's how you do that. All right, so let's. Oh, let me show you. Uh, this relic is like the only relic that works on Xbox. It's so weird. I can't choose any of these others because it doesn't let me. But for some reason, this one works. And I just put it on here because. 5% double damage and 25% to auto escape. And as far as the XP goes, I mean, I don't need no more XP because I'm already maxed at level 30. So that doesn't mean anything. Uh, but you can see if it works for you. One of these uh, relics, see if it helps you out. All right. With all that being said, let's go back to the tower. Here. So I'm at 199. So every time you beat a tower, remember you get dragon blood. Or a consumable. So right now I'm going to consume some stuff. So I'm going to consume some green herbs. Sure. Right. Let that load. Then I'm going to consume this orange herbs. Sure. Let that load in. Now I'm going to consume the stat points for agility. Yep. Absolutely. Let that load in. And now I'm going to get this syringe and go. And get 15% increased chaos resistance. Yes. Look at that. So now you go back to stats. And look at these numbers, man. Just They're just awesome. These stats are awesome. Look at the bottom left. The the resistances I have is just making her godlike. You know what I mean? So the more the more towers you do, the more rewards you get at the end, which improve your uh, stats and boost your power and your resistance and your defense and all your abilities. That's why it's I think it's important and worth it to keep going, not just stop at 56. All right, enough blabbing. Let's go in and show you what I do. Um, I'm at level 199, and I'm about to hit 1,000 uh, rank. 
which is so damn satisfying, guys. Holy crap. So once you get in, you want to activate your relic, and I do it twice. Or activate your uh, talisman. I do it twice. And you could do it more, but I really don't, you really don't need to, because it's so damn powerful. And I love Lee Mei because of her brutality. You can do it from full screen. So watch what I do right away. Activate. Activate. And then I shoot. And look at the Warhorn. It's just it's just going nuts. Right? And this is level 199. And her power is 1250... 1200. And time it, time it just right. And I, I didn't get it. Finish her? Sure. Alright, Scorpion, take care of her. Sometimes you won't get a finisher because the war horn is still going. It's like spears come down and stuff. So you gotta be very fast sometimes to do a fatality. So look at that. Flawless victory just for sitting back. Now watch the top left stats. Oh my god. Oh, let me move that. Let me move that out of the way of the live. There you go. So we're at level one. Nine, <laughs> we're at level nine ninety nine, and um, you can see the the amount of coins I have is insane. If you look at the XP breakdown, twenty four thousand XP for just just winning, just winning. Um, that's your profile, your fighter and cameo. They're they're gonna skyrocket at this level. I'm already maxed out, everybody. But literally, if I didn't have someone maxed right now, I could. Probably go from, from 1 to 15 in one match. It's insane. And as far as the other goes, I got to get uh, Brutality, I think. I got a Flawless Victory, which is weird. I didn't get uh, the other. Um, so anyway. Oh, and the money. <laughs> Look at the coins, guys. 23 million. I'm about to get 24 million. And then 27 million for the Invasions currency, which is going to reset in 18 days. So I'll be able to buy all the Invasions skins. Um, it's just awesome. All right, so the next match, guys, we're going to hit 1,000 so you guys can see it. Here we go. 1,000 profile score. I'm trying to get a brutality, guys. That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get a brutality for it. See if I can time it right because they die so quickly. All right, activate twice. Once, two, back away. Okay, now it resets your life, so now you're going to go back to full health. So let's hopefully let's hit this. See all those guys running at the bottom? When it's a whole bunch like that, they go really fast. Oh, I missed it again. See it? See that? How fast they die in the finishing screen? Alright guys, here we go. 1,000. Oh, and it did! <laughs> One more good. I want that opportunity for the brutality. Oh, it's just so easy, guys. Literally, I can just sit back and let the Warhorn do the damage for me. Rain, you are the one that gives me 1,000 profile. All right, activate, activate. Okay, since he's a mini boss, he gets to resurrect. Now, hopefully we can time this just right. There it is! Hold it! Boom! Brutality! <laughs> Fall rain. Blah. Now watch this. Watch this score. Flawless brutality is the absolute most points you're gonna get. And there it is. One thousand. Oh, can it keep going? Now look at this. There we go. Now this is the true. Let me take a screenshot of this. This is the true max points. When you're at level 199, look at all that XP. Look at that. Insane XP, guys. Those are the numbers you truly want to get right there. Hey, guys. Welcome back. This is the second half of this video. Um, so I appreciate you watching this far. If you've, if you've made it this far, give a thumbs up. Give me i I'm still watching in the comments. Basically, tell me what tower you are on currently right now in the comments. Let me know. All right, so there's 10 days left of the season of the Blood Moon. 
I'm going to show you where I am right now. We are at level 503. It has been quite a journey in this grind. Six, 684,000 coins in the bottom right. Let's check out my godlike Li Mei. You can see her amazing stats right here. Look at those numbers, guys. You're not getting these these numbers with the base base character. This is 503 levels of grinding and upgrading here. Now look at the bottom. Look at those resistance stats. The percentage is godlike. Li Mei is a beast. Now we look at the talisman that I forged. It is a much better talisman. As you can see, 41 extra projectiles. Yeah, I know you don't need them. 41 charges. Sure, you don't need them. 15 max charges. Sure, you don't need them. 1,000 damage. All right. 1,000 health on activation. Why not? I just wanted to craft the best, right? When you when you are grinding so many towers, you collect so much money, you're spending so much time, why not max the F <laughs> out of the talisman? This one here is what I've been rocking before with the video I've, I made in the beginning. But this is my uh, godlike ultra powerful beast mode warhorn. So that's that. Um, what else? Uh, I guess I'll show you uh, one one uh, match here to see the XP that you get. Always uh, activate one of these. If you have five, activate the fifth one because you're going to get something at the end of the, the tower. It's been quite the grind, guys. I've been playing this, well, as you can see, over 5,000 matches to get to 500. I think it's, I think that's true. Is it 5,000? Yeah, it's got to be five. Does it? No, it's a 500. 500, 5,000. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what I do now. I activate three times, basically. I activate three times right away because you have infinite, you know, well, not infinite, but, you know, you won't run out, basically. Wait for it here. And you throw the projectile and bam. I just, I've been doing that so many times, it's, I can do it in my sleep. So there's a Flaw's Brutality, the maximum amount of, of XP you can get. Now let's look at the top left. As you can see, I am now level 2010 for my profile. The coins I have is 174 million coins and 174 million gold coins. Let's look at this XP, guys. Check those numbers out. That is what you get when you get up to level 503 or whatever I'm at. The XP is ridiculous. But the thing is now, guys, look at the little orange uh, XP gain at the top there under my profile picture. You see that little orange line? That's the XP you get from doing a Brutality Flawless with 174,000 victory xp 279 victory uh finisher xp and 349 flawless xp all that which is like seven eight hundred eight hundred thousand i mean i mean no it is it's ridiculous how much xp you get but it's only that much orange because the level i'm at it scales so much it's kind of like a fatal blow when you're doing a long combo then you do the fatal blow at the end it's like <laughs> there's no more damage that's kind of like how it is with with uh the profile when you get this high and it's been a grind guys it is it'll seriously tax your willpower to stick with this and uh you know i've been getting a lot of flack for this you know i put it on reddit and all this stuff and i get a lot of guys saying you know touch grass take a shower you unemployed i mean all this crap you know whatever what i do with my time i do with my time this is also for you guys so you can see what kind of numbers you can get and what kind of level you can get when someone plays so long, and that's me. So guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helped you out. If you want to craft a, a more massive, you know, talisman like I did, uh, you basically got to collect 99 damage uh, uh, ingredients and 99 uh, meat ingredients. And you get those by going to the, uh, the shops every hour and uh, buying them out every hour until you get to 99. And then you, you craft whatever you want. One thing I forgot to show you guys is the uh, the relic that I'm using. It gives me uh, 
a super armor. When you notice my character Lee Mei, she'll start glowing with this orange light around her body. Watch. Ding. Oh, look at, looks like Striker took it. Look how easy his brutalities are. But basically, um, I have super armor with my relic, so that gives me a free hit. Just to ensure a, you know, the flawless victory even, even further. So yeah, it's 30 million points, yada yada yada. I wanted to show you the end of this. Alright, there's your XP there. Now, it's very important guys, when you finish a tower, you get these rewards. Now you get an automatic dragon blood, which gives you um, the ability to craft a legendary talisman by having 10 of them. That way you guarantee it's not going to fail. But also you get these consumables. So this one right here is a static booster. So it helps me with lightning uh, attacks. Or it can help you with other uh, uh, other el elemental attacks. Or even give you a boost like as far as stats go. Like health, defense, attack, special. So you definitely want to keep playing the towers and not just stop at 56 and redo it over and over and over and over and over again. Because why? You want to get rewards. You want to get more uh, XP after every tower. You know, you don't want to be stuck in a rut. So there's your XP there. Yep, it's crazy. So when you go back to the main tower here, automatically you want to use this. Right now it's going to give me 15% increased electric resistance. Yes. And then you want to check your stats again. You go down to stats and boom, the electric is now 255%. I did want to show you the relic. I didn't get to show you that here. So this is my relic here. Uh, it's the best one I found in over 500 towers. My first hit deals 100% more damage on top of my talisman, which is already 1000% damage, which is insane. Timer increased by 30 seconds, which we don't need. But start with one hit of super armor. That is awesome. So not only do I have a hit of super armor to further in, in, in guarantee a, a flawless victory, which is the, the most amount of XP points you can get, I also get 1,000% more damage on my first hit. Crazy. And as far as ducking disabled, I don't duck in this tower. Yeah, right. All right, I just wanted to show you that, guys. Again, thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you out. Comment below what tower you're on or if you're going to attempt to grind this because you have 10 more days because I'm sure they're going to patch this for next season so you can't do this anymore. As people are exploiting it now to just get the max amount of coins and get their XP high and stuff, which I'm definitely taking advantage. I have 10 more days to keep going. I mean, why not? You know, I mean, I've gone this far. Why not keep going? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the live stream. Uh, again, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching. Peace.